Hey guys, it's Britt, and I wanted to have a discussion video today um, talking about the relevancy of canon and how canon changes things, but is it really relevant um, to the casual viewer? Um, I, I am of the mindset that canon is only necessarily important if you are critically analyzing, say, a television adaption or, uh, or a character. If you're doing character analysis, I like character analysis. So that's the only time I really deem canon relevant. And canon snobbery is kind of something that, like really gets on my nerves because I came from a generation where uh, like fan fiction was written and fan fiction is okay and it totally was irrelevant to the canon but that didn't make it any less enjoyable for me to sit down and read like there were years where I spent reading Harry Potter fan fiction and yeah, maybe fan fiction isn't always that great, but for the sake of this argument, like, canon isn't relevant in these situations because it's an interpretation. And I think an interpretation is important because it gives the, the viewer or the reader or the fan a chance to express a certain point of view that maybe uh, another person wouldn't have thought about uh, for years. The Star Wars books, novelizations, were considered canon. And now, it has been deemed that, is the, that it is the Legends series uh, because Disney bought Star Wars. And I like, I like what Disney has done with Star Wars. I really like Star Wars Rebels. Uh, I, I like them. But I also really like the novels. And I... I, I kind of pick and choose what I deem to be canon... canon information. Because there's so much. Uh, in Game of Thrones, I see a lot of people kind of throwing these comments around well well in the books in the novelizations you happen like this so this can't be true for canon um i don't think that's necessarily true because that and i don't think it's necessarily fair because the song of ice and fire series by george r r martin isn't even finished yet George never thought that the television series would catch up to his writing because the books are massive. And what people also have to understand is how difficult it is to take a novel adaption and put it into a film in uh, two, two and a half sometimes even three hours, but that you're really pushing it for a casual viewer, for a casual viewer. Um, the book does not have the same restrictions as a film adaption does, or a television adaption, or whatever you want to call it. A film or television Television adaption has things like actors that you have to pay, extras that you have to have to pay, uh, sets that you have to build and pay people to build, extras, uh, lighting, uh, special effects team, all of that. Sometimes you have to fly actors from place to place and that impacts your budget. Adapting things from what some people would consider canon 
is difficult because the casual watcher. So you gotta understand, guys. Not everybody's gonna sit down and read a Song of Ice and Fire or read the entirety of Harry Potter. Not everybody's a reader, so not everybody is going to quote unquote agree with the canon. Um, an example for Game of Thrones would be that there is there there's this big book, and it's called The World of Ice and Fire. And that's written from the point of view of a few maesters. But George R. R. Martin has said that the information presented in the novel wouldn't necessarily be true because the way the maester has the maesters have written this book is very biased. And very, very pro Lannister. So, when you're tackling things like uh, the Targaryens, yes, some of the information is correct, but some of the stories are not depicted as they actually happened. So, is it canon? Is that the canon? It could be. It's all up for interpretation. I think the only time that canon is relevant is when you're analyzing, critically analyzing, that particular medium or television show. Uh, Harry Potter uh, kind of changed the ending, and I won't go into it. I won't go into it, uh, but for those of you who have finished Harry Potter the book series, and Harry Potter, the film adaptions, you know what I'm talking about. But that's all that I wanted to say, guys. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, and let me know what you think. Do you think that canon is important or relevant, or for the casual watcher, can they just sit down and enjoy a television show or a TV show, and for them, what is presented is the technical canon. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.